and this bottom is hanging on three strings that is the trinity and from top at the middle there is another string comes down to lift the top that is the incarnation and the black pole is the unredeemed humanity in the two ribble and the burning coal is the holy spirit and we are putting the priest is putting incense three times in that that is the experience the awaiting of the resurrection of our body which will make the stinking body will be turned to the glorified body and in the holy eucharist right from beginning to the end we are experiencing a foretaste of that second coming foretaste of the second coming particularly in oriental liturgy that is the syro malabar liturgy several place you you can relate this we are speaking about the second coming even before the holy communion we say oh lord through the faith in the kingdom of god we desire to receive your body and blood the faith in the kingdom of god what is the kingdom of god kingdom of god in its full coming that is the second coming the kingdom of god and at the last prayers we are always reflecting that this bread and this body and blood what we received as a as a pledge of your second coming so john paul ii in the teaching orientale lumen orientale lumen <laughs> it's a big teaching he says when i see an oriental christian i feel the second coming of the risen lord is coming i would like to adore him adore whom a oriental christian why because they believe in the second coming they receive the lord who is the second coming now my experience is incidentally <laughs> from the beginning of my ministry i was touched by the syro malabar liturgy particularly the resurrection and also one of the word of god romans 811 is my masterpiece if the spirit of god who raised jesus christ from the dead dwells in you he who raised jesus from the dead will give you new life through the spirit dwelling within you <coughs> sorry i am too loud so as a christian what is our inheritance christ lives in us christ exchanged his life with our life he made us another christ and that another christ how should we understand that another christ means not only the christ who lived 33 years in the earth no that christ is jesus himself said as i am before abraham <laughs> i am before abraham i am alpha and omega so our evangelization spur spur this is the work word saint john paul to use the spur is a spark comes when you believe that jesus is eternal alpha and omega is same today 
he was and now and forever now that is what at the end jesus said in john uh, matthew chapter take matthew chapter 8 sorry matthew chapter 28 all powers of heaven and earth is given to me can you imagine what that mean all powers of heaven and earth is given to me that i have power to raise the whole earth transform the whole earth to heaven that is what we are praying every day our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy kingdom come into this whole earth and change this earth thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven so before his second coming he will change the whole earth the whole humanity will be risen along with the risen humanity yeah that is also written here excuse me 1042 i did not complete so 1042 in catechism very important teaching is christ glorified in body and soul and then it's only small letter written a small sentence the universe itself will be renewed the universe itself will be renewed and now quoting from second vatican council lumen gentium 48 the church will receive her perfection only in the glory of heaven when will come the time of the renewal of all things at the time together with the human race see together with the human race so if you think oh human race will all be destroyed the whole earth will be destroyed if that is our thinking how can we have power the human race will be glorified and human race will live with him in heaven with the body so first question comes see all the people where they will stand <laughs> where they will stand if everybody resurrect so that we have to understand the body will be not the visible physical mortal body it is a spiritual body spiritual body which is which can remain like jesus in time and space beyond time and space so that is what saint john paul ii in orient alle lumen said you will experience the absolute infinite transcendence infinite transcendent transcendent means a state of beyond time and space beyond time and space jesus is after the resurrection became beyond time and space he can go backward he can go forward so that is why how the israelites came out from the slavery by sprinkling of the blood of the lamb they could come out why how the value came to that blood of the lamb because of the passion and resurrection of jesus so the passion of jesus has power to go back and to go forward the resurrection of jesus has power to go to the creation that is why in western or in latin liturgy on the sun on the easter night first reading is let there be light the whole creation narration so that light which came at the creation that light is the light which comes at the last and that light is the light which we are having now the oriental lumen that light is jesus this much we must have full confidence he is not only the one who lived 33 years and gone he is the one who was who is the one who is 
and the one who will be thank do you experience him now how to experience him that i'll come to you you are experiencing he is already in us but we have to have a realization so it is mentioned here the church will receive her perfection only in the glory of heaven only in the glory of heaven i'm sorry is the time ah time is going to be ready yes we'll conclude now at the time together with the human race yeah when will come the time of the renewal of all things at that time together with the human race the universe itself which is so closely related to man and which attains its destiny through him will be perfectly reestablished in christ this is the second coming imagine how much wrong teachings and wrong expressions are in the air in the media once when i was giving retreat in divine retreat center a lady came from kuwait thomas mol thomas mol can you pray for me i said what happened see the world is going to end i came from kuwait packing everything so that at the end of the world i can die with my people uh, in my home <laughs> the world is going to end in swanso date in swanso date so many are saying and that lady really left kuwait because it was said on within 15 days the world is going to end so she packed everything she left her job she packed everything and came back now to at least at the end time she can die with her own can you imagine this is really happening with this how can we evangelize then what is the need of evangelizing if the world is going to end now so how can what is the use of evangelizing then <laughs> if this visible gold is going to destroy everything the humanity is going to be destroyed everything so the power of evangelization comes the passion of evangelization comes when recognizing what is the highest thing christ is going to do christ is going to lift up the whole humanity like him like his risen body so that is how mother mary is the first one already in the heaven with the body so she is the mother of us and he is the first born of the brothers to be there so that is our expectation we will also be there and the visible world will also be transformed i tell you from the time i understood from catechism this 1042 i felt such a great power such a great evangelizing power such an enthusiasm and this is what jesus said in the house of lazarus lazarus was his very close friend so he decided let lazarus die he became sick and now the brothers sisters of lazarus were very much upset they immediately sent a word you just go and tell jesus you are the one whom you love is sick they thought he will come again come soon but he did not come and he died he did not come even when he died and after four days he is coming the very close friend of lazarus and rang and then these ladies were crying oh if you would have been here our brother would not have died he said your brother will resurrect Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know he will resurrect on the last day. See, that itself is a big faith. At that time, Sadducees were not believing in the resurrection. The Pharisees had big fight with the Sadducees who don't believe in the resurrection. At that situation, these women say, "I know he will resurrect on the last day." 
now Jesus is revealing a very great mystery. I am the resurrection. He did not say, I will be the resurrection. He says in the present tense, I am the resurrection. I am the resurrection and life. If you believe, then you will, he will live again. Now it was an eye-opener for Martha. They thought Jesus is a healer. Jesus is a deliverer. Jesus, but now he says, I am the resurrection. So Martha said, I believe, Lord. So she had first the faith in the resurrection in the last day. But now he says, the one who gives resurrection in the last day is I am. That I am now here in your home. Do you want it? Do you want the resurrection? Where is he buried? Come and see. They took him to the tomb. Take away, take away the stone. Take away the stone. Now the reality. In reality, she says, oh, now it means already four days are over. He may be sticking, sticking. That is the reality. So in reality, although we believe all this in principle, but in reality, the situation is much worse. Now Jesus says, did I not tell you? If you believe, you will see the glory. Yes, yes, Lord, I believe. I believe you are the Messiah. I believe you are the one who is going to come. I believe you are the one who is going to give resurrection. Yes. Now she is not praying. She is only believing. And Jesus said, Father, I pray. And you always listen to my prayer. I thank you. Lazarus, come out. This dead man, after four days, his body was thinking, came out. All people who were there, they were all amazed. Who is this man? That is evangelization. Is it anything because of the psychology or philosophy or any human power? Psychology and philosophy and all our human power should understand what is the supernatural power? What is this risen Lord whom we are eating every day? Every day we are eating him. He has given to consume. I am the resurrection. And that series he says, I am the living bread came down from heaven. Eat me. Eat me. Drink me. That is the risen body. And the event of Lazarus is to teach us that our faith, while now we must believe the one who is going to come at the end, he is already here. Through the sacraments, we are experiencing him. And we must have a personal intimacy with him. He is the one who make our life our call, everything he will do it. So let us thank and praise God. Now we are going to have the celebration of the liturgy. In this liturgy, from the beginning to end, please make special attention on this way of a mystery that through our, our oriental liturgy from the beginning to end is focusing on the second coming of the Lord and we are going to receive him truly the second coming the lord who comes in the second coming we are going to receive him so he will give us a experience of his resurrection he will austouch he will exchange our fallen nature that prayer after the institution when you pray pray with really understanding that he has already exchange our life with his divine risen life thank you and i request in the holy celebration you please don't look your watch you celebrate it with all full fullness of your heart and your time don't 
limit the time. Let us celebrate. This is not a parish celebration. Let us celebrate the liturgy with full, full power. Thank you. God bless you.